Hi folks, let's take a quick look at the CRM configuration for the uh, plugin here. So when you first go to install the plugin, you will need to specify the domain that you use to sign up for Zoho. This is important so we connect to the right uh, Zoho data center. Uh, so please select that first. Once you have updated that, you'll then start to connect your various Zoho apps. Beginning with the CRM, you'll need to grab your organization ID. Uh, to find that ID, simply click on this link to take you to your CRM account. Under your CRM account, you will find in the URL your org ID right there. Copy everything, including the ORG, and you're going to come back over here, pop it in, and then click Authorize with Zoho CRM. This is going to give you a pop-up where you're going to accept that you're allowing the plugin to connect to the CRM. This is then going to authorize uh, um, that and sync the various modules and data to the CRM. Um, now, once you've connected the CRM under customization, you'll be able to find all of the modules that have been pulled in. So here you can see uh, we have support both standard as well as custom modules. So you'll be able to easily toggle on or off which modules you'd like to show. As you toggle a module on, it's going to get added to this left-hand menu over here. Uh, so, for instance, if we take contacts, once we've added it to this menu, we can click and drag and drop this into a different position here if we wanted to rearrange the menu. We can also relabel contacts to reflect a different naming convention to the end or front user of the portal. And this screen to set up the module can be quite flexible. Uh, first of all, we want to choose whether it's shown to the user in the portal. We're then going to define whether we want to um, show the user records that only belong to their account. And in that case, what we need to do is make sure that we're mapping the account lookup. We also want to then choose over here whether we are showing records only belonging to that account or custom sharing. If you click custom sharing, it allows you to universally share all contacts to any logged in users by selecting a predefined view that is set up in uh, Zoho. Um, so you can set up a custom view in a module over here, and then this list of views will be reflected in these options over here. If you ever make a change to fields in the CRM and you don't see those reflected here in the portal, just hit the Sync Now button on the module that you are looking for an updated option on, and it's going to resync the fields and options over there. Moving into some of these other features here, we have this Enable Multi-Account feature. This is going to be a more advanced option. Uh, by default, the portal is going to support a parent-child relationship, meaning that if an end user is logged in and they belong to a parent organization, by default, they can be able to see all of the records related to the children of that parent that they belong to. However, in some cases, you may want a single sign-on environment where you're going to invite a customer to your portal, and they may actually have to... Uh, entities that do business with you. And in that case, you may want to just provide that uh, customer a single login to access details across multiple parent-child trees. In order to facilitate that, we have this option here to enable a multi-account feature. Once enabled, you will have to configure a multi-account lookup field on the contact record. Uh, that would look up to accounts so that you could associate that contact with multiple accounts. And then you'd simply map that field over here and update it so that you can create that single sign-on uh, environment. The next thing that you can see here, we have to define all of the permissions. Uh, so in general, can a logged in user view, add, edit, or delete records? Uh, do you want to hide the attachments or um, let them see it? delete attachments, as well as uh, um, add attachments. So it's view, delete, and add. This is going to be an important section over here. You have to set up the list view uh, table columns. So when you access the front end of the portal and you see a list of the contacts, these are the fields that are going to show up in the 
column. So we want to make sure that we are selecting at least one field over here. And you'll notice that you won't be able to see this bottom section until you've at least mapped a, a field over here in the table view. So once you've selected those uh, fields, you can then uh, start to build your sections with your various fields, much like you would in the back end of Zoho. So you can choose all of your fields, and then you can further refine whether that particular field has a view add or edit permissions for that end user. Uh, the plugin also supports uh, uh, subforms. Um, so if you have a subform available within a module, you'll have an extra uh, button over here that you can add that subform uh, in a section of its own and map the fields accordingly as well. The final thing that I'd like to review is this section over here. You can provide some uh, description and some details or instructions to your end users by putting in a title or description above that uh, field in the or that tab in the front end of the portal. This will just help further give instructions to your users um, so that they know how you'd like them to use the portal. So flipping to the front end here of the portal, if we hit that contacts tab, I want to show you the uh, list view. These are the fields that you are defining uh, over here. And if we go back now to that front end and access a record, uh, you can either click on that record or on the view tab. This is where you'll see the different sections. If you've given your users the ability to upload attachments, the section will show up. And then, of course, they can go into the edit mode if you've given them permission for that record as a whole. And then only the fields that they have edit permissions on will be editable uh, in this view. Um, anything that they edit will be saved back to Zoho in real time. So please be cognizant of that, that there is no review process. Any changes made in the portal will reflect in real time in Zoho in the back end. The biggest takeaway from the CRM configuration is that the CRM really is the primary application that must be configured with the portal. And a contact record must exist as the user of the portal. And that contact record must belong to an account in the current version of the plugin uh, as of uh, uh, version 1.1.7.0. Uh, in the future, we will be adding support for a vendor portal or anchoring your whole portal around a custom module. But as it exists today, all users must be tied to an account as all Zoho products generally tie back and sync to that account record in the CRM. Thanks a lot, and please give us a shout if you have any questions and would like some help configuring the portal. Cheers.